Hello, everyone joining in. My name is Prasenjit and I am an Alibaba Cloud MVP. Today, I'll be discussing about how to use Terraform with Alibaba Cloud. This is a beginner level discussion. So this will help you get started with Terraform on Alibaba Cloud who haven't tried this uh, until now. So what do we need to get started? We need a Alibaba Cloud account. You can open up a trial account from Alibaba Cloud website and then you need to have Terraform installed in your system. And once you have that, uh, we can go ahead with uh, trying out this exercise of using Terraform and getting started with Alibaba Cloud. So as you probably heard about Terraform before, uh, it is a very good DevOps tool and it can help you build your infrastructures uh, with configurations and code. In other words, we call it infrastructure as code. So Terraform has a bunch of great integrations with cloud platforms. Some of them are maintained by the official Terraform um, setup and uh, you might have heard about um, providers in Terraform, those who have used Terraform a bit. So officially they maintain Terraform providers like AWS provider, Azure provider, Google cloud provider. So uh, these allow you to provision uh, resources on these public clouds using Terraform very easily instead of writing code from scratch. However, Alibaba Cloud, which is uh, the biggest uh, cloud company in the Chinese mainland, uh, has a provider and it is not uh, maintained by uh, Terraform. This Terraform provider is created and maintained by Alibaba itself so far. And um, there is not much uh, quick start guides and documents uh, around this, uh, especially in English, and this makes it a bit hard to get started. So therefore, I think this video will help you a lot uh, to get a quick tour of the Alibaba cloud provider. And uh, I'll show you how you can launch an instance uh, from ground zero. And uh, I'll also show you how you will uh, launch uh, the virtual private cloud VPC, switches, security groups, and everything that is needed to keep this instance uh, accessible and secure in the network. So let's get started. So first of all, let's have a look at the code. So first you will have to uh, create a main.tf file um, that is a Terraform code file that will store your infrastructure config. And uh, probably you can make a directory for this project and then store your main.tf file inside it. And uh, you can later on have this directory uh, pushed into a Git repo. So what are the contents of the main.tf file? It looks something like this. So you have a Terraform block where Terraform related configs are stored, where we define the backend as local. So we use the local backend to store the Terraform state, but uh, you can also use a cloud backend. For example, you can store your state in the object store uh, so that it is persistent. However, for simplicity, we are choosing backend as local and the path is terraform.tf state. That is the file name where Terraform stores uh, the state. And uh, then we have another block which calls the provider Ali Cloud, which is Alibaba Cloud. And here we define the region ID that we belong to. So you can find your region ID for your Alibaba Cloud region where you want to host your infrastructure. Uh, from the link which I have mentioned here uh, on the code block as a comment. So here the region uh, that is chosen is China, Beijing, and then followed by your access key and secret key. Here in this block of code, you won't see any access or secret key. However, you will have to get your access and secret key and uh, paste it there. How do you get your access and secret key? Here is a link which defines like from where you will get them. So you can go through that and get your access and secret key for your account and paste it here. And then here uh, we can define certain variables under the locals block. So here you have a 
prefix, full domain, whatever domain you want to mention here, zone, which is the availability zone of the cloud and so on. So that is all that goes into this main.tf. Uh, and for the network setup, uh, you add uh, a separate file, network.tf, or you can continue adding the these um, things into the main.tf as well. So it's your wish. So for the network setup, let's have a look at what are the resources that we will use here. So first is we have to define a resource called AliCloud VPC. So here you see AliCloud underscore VPC. And uh, here we use the variables in local section, uh, which we called uh, previously. And uh, and then we set up a CIDR block. So this CIDR block defines the subnet range that we are going to use for this VPC. And then uh, we define something called AliCloud underscore V switch. This is a um, switch that we define to route our request. So we set the CIDR for this switch again, and that is the same as the CIDR block that we defined for the AliCloud VPC. And we, define the availability zone here we mentioned it as local zone the vpc and switches uh, actually are both necessary alibaba cloud doesn't allow you to create an instance without the private network an instance must be connected to a switch so you can set up more switches if you want if you'd like to have your instances across multiple zones uh, then you can have more switches. The next step now is to create the security group and configure its rules to allow a public network access so that your virtual machine and in your network is secure. So what do we do there? We have some more resource blocks defined. So one is resource Ali Cloud security group default, the name local.prefix, VPC ID, the one which we defined earlier, and we have some access policies. Inner access policies is accept, which means all the traffic within the VPC is allowed. And similarly, say we have a Ali Cloud Security Group rule now, which allows SSH. So that opens port 22. So this is the block of code where we de define the IP protocol as TCP, ingress, that means in incoming connections, and uh, NIC type is intranet, policies accept. CIDR IP, this is the source IP range from where we want the traffic to come in from. So it's 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 slash zero, which means uh, traffic is allowed from anywhere and the port range is 22. So we allow only port 22 to be open. And then you define a resource where you say Ali Cloud Security Group rule allow ICMP. So this resource block allows the ping requests so because we have set up a policy of accept. If you make it a policy of deny then uh, or reject, then it will reject all the ping requests. So you won't be able to ping. Well, uh, so we had one security group created uh, using the block and we had two security group rules. So it is a good practice to bind only one security group to every instance. However, you can bind multiple ones um, if you want, that is allowed. So now let's set up the SSH authentication for this virtual machine that we are going to build. So to enable uh, logging into the instances, um, you will need SSH to be created and you should have a key pair because there is no password authentication over here in the cloud and it's more secure to use SSH key pairs. So how do we do that? Resource block defined for Ali Cloud key pair and again, key name local.prefix and then public key equals SSH RSA and then your public key and uh, you know, and then your uh, whatever email address you want to define. So you will notice that both the key pairs along with the other resources we just created are region specified. So if you change the default region, you, you will have to recreate the resources. For example, if you change your primary region from Beijing to Shanghai, you will need to again change the keys and other resources that are specific to this region. 
Now let's create an ECS instance. By ECS instance in Alibaba, it's not uh, containers, it's uh, the Elastic Cloud, uh, which is um, for the compute uh, machines or the virtual machines. So to define the ECS instance here, we uh, have a resource Ali Cloud instance. And uh, here you have an option to set dry run as true so that it actually doesn't create an instance, but it uh, simulates it when you uh, do a Terraform apply. So here you define various parameters like uh, instance name, host name you want to set for that virtual machine, then the key name or the key pair which you just created, the v v vSwitch ID that you created, the security groups that you want to attach, uh, the instance type or the flavor, then uh, what would be the billing or charging details, uh, spot strategy, if you want to use spot instances here, and the image ID, the base instance or the golden image you would like to use. So that would include what operating system you want to use to spin up this instance, then system disk category, system disk size, internet bandwidth in and out, and, uh, and the way we want to pay the bandwidth. So it would be paid by traffic mostly. So this is how you define the instance in Terraform. And then uh, uh, you will find that uh, there could, you could run into problems defining the instance ID. That is because uh, different instances are specific to different regions and some of the instances are not public. So uh, you will have to thoroughly check um, what is the correct image ID you should use for spinning up your virtual machine instance or ECS instance. So fortunately, uh, Alibaba Cloud maintains a CLI tool called Aliyun CLI. Now, Aliyun is the uh, Chinese pin in word of uh, Alibaba Cloud. And uh, there is an API called Describe Image for listing all the images. So you can use the commands there and, uh, and then find out the correct image ID. Now that we have all the resources prepared, uh, we can do one more thing. We can create DNS records, but this is optional. The public IP of the instance could be randomly associated. So every time you terminate an instance and relaunch a new one, the IP gets changed. Therefore, uh, one can go and add a DNS record pointing to the instance so that even if the public IP changes, the DNS record always points to the same instance. So that is a very good idea, like um, attaching a IP uh, and a DNS records to an instance. So to do that, we create this resource, Ali Cloud DNS record, and then we define the A record type, the TTL and the routing. And we can also, add a output variable where it spills out what is the default public IP of the instance uh, after it's uh, installed. So that is how we create the main.tf file. So you have everything ready now to deploy uh, ECS instance and the security rules and the keys and the VPC and the switches and the networking things around it. So now if we want to deploy all of this, what do we do? We do a Terraform in it. This loads all the resources and the providers that Terraform needs. And then you can do a Terraform plan. So that will show what it is going to deploy. And when, when we do a Terraform apply, it creates the resources. And so you can see we get all the resources up and running and we have a public IP also uh, in the output. So we know that uh, our instance is working fine on the cloud. So this is all about uh, how you use Terraform with Alibaba Cloud and how to use the Alibaba Cloud provider. This is a small demo just to, um, uh, just to help you go through uh, this path of creating Alibaba Cloud resources using Terraform. So you can learn more and add more knowledge to this journey of Terraform with Alibaba Cloud and hope you will be able to use Alibaba Cloud a lot more when you can create resources very quickly with Terraform. Uh, I'll leave you with some links in the description 
uh, where you can learn more about uh, Terraform with Alibaba Cloud Provider. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions, please drop it on the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them when I can. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.